What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy in the last part we finished pretty much everything in the terrace and in this part uh, we're going to the next one first let's get some one-ups and I, I should also point out that every time you start your file um, we can actually get this uh, letter from Prince Peter. so basically we get the 20 one-ups uh, basically every time we start our files so uh, I'm gonna have to make sure to go grab those every recording session but uh Anyway, so uh, we've basically gotten every star in the terrace. So what we're going to do now is go to this uh, little beam over here. You see this beaming light? Let's uh, tug. Let's talk to this Luma. Step here to go to the fountain. So yeah, the fountain is the next of the uh, the major domes in this game, let's just say. But, uh... But anyway, so I thought, I think we should have a galaxy unlock. Okay, let's, uh, you know what? I like this galaxy. We'll do this first. The rolling green galaxy. We'll do this one first. But anyway, this is another one of those one star galaxies. But anyway, so what we're going to do in, in this is rolling in the clouds. I actually am a sucker for these levels. These are the first, the rolling ball levels, but, uh. Anyway, so I say anyway a lot, but uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to see another one of those signs with the name. So let's see what this sign's name is. And uh, hey, now, wait, I should have read. I, let me read that proper. Hey, now, if you're thinking about the the ball, there's this an old billboard here. Get it? <laughs> First, jump in on top of the ball. And then, all right, you sure. Uh, all right. Again, sometimes it's kind of finicky, yeah. Sometimes the tutorial's a little finicky, but, uh, we call the basic position. In that basic position, tilt the left and move all in order to try to jump, and, uh, yeah, basically we gotta, uh, keep the remote straight. So I gotta uh, kind of concentrate here. I don't find this particularly hard, but, uh, believe it or not, like, uh, when my, I think when my brother first played through this game, like, he did struggle in this level, and I think, like, he had, like, 59 stars, and, like, I was able to get this 60th one for them that allowed him to beat the game. That's a little fun story right there, but, uh... Yeah, once you, uh, once you get these, uh... You can also get star bits again. I don't, I'm not 100% sure if your pointer's disabled. Should I I'm not gonna risk going for that one-up. It's a little risky to get that one-up. You need to jump precisely, but, uh... There's gonna be more stages of this variant later on, but, uh... Again, uh... There we go. So, uh, we go over here and not fall down... Okay. There we go. And get that in there, and, uh, yeah, that was, uh, Rolling Green Galaxy taken care of. And again, it plays the uh, Mario 3 music, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, that's our star in uh, Rolling Green Galaxy. Yeah, that's a nice, uh, I think that's a nice way to start this part, but, if you think, but, um, anyway, so, um, what we're gonna do now is go to the proper galaxy. I got one pity star bit out of that, but we still have we just got a galaxy anyway, sure. And, uh, Let's, uh, go to the first of the prop galaxy. Now, we need nine stars to open this, but, uh, this is the Space Junk Galaxy, and, uh, to be honest, I always found this galaxy kind of boring, let's just say. The galaxy after this is probably one of my favorite galaxies in the whole game. Anyway, this is Pole Star Bath. Um, yeah, for some weird reason, I always found this galaxy to be particularly boring. It's, uh, the music is peaceful, I'll give it that, but, uh, I just don't, I never really liked the atmosphere of this level, this world very much, but anyway, um, pull star path. Now, uh, basically there's these, uh, pull star things that we got, that, uh, basically we gotta use to progress in the level. So, yeah. And then the gravity should pull you down to the, uh, other area, and I'll try to get as many star bits as possible. But since we got one pity star bit out of the rolling green galaxy, but, uh, Come on. I'm not really good with the pointer today all of a sudden. Anyway, so uh, it's actually the first recording session I've got I'm making since I posted that uh first part. So uh 
because these are usually recorded several days in advance. So uh, I will say thank you for the over the enthusiastic response this playthrough's gotten so uh, so far. But uh, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate when just anyone watches my video, not like when I get like uh, when I get like moist critical level of views, which I obviously don't. But anyway, so um. And, uh, let's see, there's, an, there's a planet that has a pulsar, so there's gonna be a lot of pull stars in this level, but, uh, I'm trying to see how I can make exciting commentary on those, because, to be fair, I was never too much of a fan of this, uh, galaxy, but, uh, we are approaching the end of the star, though, but, uh, oh shit, okay, then we have to kind of go around, okay, what's with the pointer? Again, the, I have the scent, the Wii sense of our right directly in front of me, so it's probably not. I don't think that's the problem. See if we can get uh, 50 star bits and uh, die! Oh, yeah. Alright, 47. So one more of these. Uh, actually, excuse me! <laughs> yeah, there's our star bit. There's our star piece. So, anyway. So let's save these toads. Let's see what they actually say. Where's that confronted Power Star? Please help my other friends. What does he say? Where'd my glasses go? What does he say? He says nothing! There is Captain Toad, anyway, so... Captain, how could you? Let's see what Captain Toad has to say. Da-da-da-da, Mr. Luigi! As the brave captain of the Toad Brigade, I've already discovered a shortcut to the Power Star. Take the slingshot to the top of the Star Shrine. So yeah, this is basically the Silver Star, like in, uh, kind of like in Mario 64 DS, which, uh, I've considered a playthrough of, let's just say. If, I don't know, I've considered a Mario 64 DS playthrough, but I'm not sure. It's like DS Captain very very like uh specific i i either have to mod my 3ds for capture or i have to play off an emulator so i've considered a playthrough of it but i don't think it's happening anytime soon let's just say just be careful not to slide down because we're using luigi so the slide mechanic could definitely fall make us fall off we almost have uh five of those stars I like how that makes a little, like, pizza pie. Oh shit, we almost- we almost flit off the platform, so, uh... We gotta take this slow. Because I am not doing this over. Thankfully, this is a midway point if you do end up dying here, but anyway, so we got the star. Actually, believe it or not, we're in a cutscene. No. It seems that a prankster comet has appeared somewhere. Prankster comets have a very strange effect on galaxies. If you want to learn more about the curious comets, that's the Luma who knows about such things. Anyway, so I actually do know where it is because we can see it on the map. So, uh... I guess, we're gonna get, I guess we'll get that out of the way. We'll finish uh, Polestar Galaxy. We'll, we'll finish uh, Space Jump Galaxy in the next part. But uh, but I guess either way. Um, I guess we're going to do good at Galaxy. I guess we'll try and see if we can tackle some of the... the uh, try and see if we can tackle some of the... Uh, what am I trying to say? The uh, Prankster Comets. Because there's two of them. They don't show up in One Star Galaxies like they do in Galaxy 2. So uh, this is the Speedy Comet. So this is the Dino Prana Speedy Run. So what we should do is uh, we should be able to get out of this level. Not if I try to be greedy for Star Bits and then die on the first stage like I did the first time. But anyway. Again, maybe don't maybe don't go for Star Bits as much. But definitely try to see if you see Star Bits out in the air. Try to like see if you can grab them. But uh... I almost thought we were going- I almost thought we were doing star, star number two in this galaxy, but, uh... Shit, oh shit, alright. Can we talk to him? 
My friends are ahead, Hari. I think uh, I think all of these uh, boulder things are gonna change. Uh, yeah, they're gonna change in a chain chomp, so we can't actually do that method. So yeah, we gotta just take this part slowly because we have plenty of time. Because I am not dying on the I'm not dying on this mission again. We can't actually get star bits out of these chain chomps, so uh, yeah, that's how you do it proper. <laughs> I wish I could have told myself that two recordings ago. Anyway, so let's get these star bits. I'm not sure. Actually, we'll get some star bits. We have time to actually star bit farm, but uh... Because I think we should all think... I think if you uh, use that uh, thing over there with the... Uh, what am I trying to say over the... Uh, the thing over there with the... Uh, the kind of balloon thing you do get st Oh no, no. I almost just... I legit thought I was gonna die. What? No! I am not dying on this level a second time. But I'm gonna try to farm star bits. I swear to friggin' Christ, if I die on this level again... Eventually it's gonna run out, but uh... I wish you just uh, keep going forward. Come on, let's get the... No! Alright, we're safe. We're not dying on this level again. I was legit kind of anxious we were going to die on that level again, but, uh... And, uh... He's in on this asshole. We... Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get 100 lives. We have plenty of time to face the boss, I should say. We have two whole minutes. Oh, I, thought I forgot we're not the boss yet, but, uh... Try to chase this guy. Chase him! Chase him! All right, I'll, I'll, I don't need those uh, other. I don't need to take out these guys right here. Oh no! Right, there we go. We should have plenty of time to fight this boss. And we get another one up. So yeah, we have a minute and a half to fight this boss. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I gotta change the music to its appropriate thing. But anyway, we should play the boss as well. I like that, I like with this fight when we do him a second time in this Frank and Comic kind of changes um to the appropriate music. Now, I'm not until- I don't think the time stops until you get the star. Um, I think in Galaxy 2 how it is that, uh... I think in Galaxy 2 which, the time just stops when you're done with the mission, but I think it actually stops when you get the star in this, um... But anyway, we did- we did it. We have a minute to just collect star bits, so, um... I'm not- I don't really think I need those star bits. There is another prankster comet in the terrace that I'm gonna try to see if I can go grab. And uh, you can you can actually kind of control where these prankster comets show up by talking to this guy over here. So say you want a prankster comet where you want, if you want it in a specific spot, you want to do a specific mission, you actually can tell him to move it and it's just cost 20 star bits. So uh Yes, yeah, so this is very helpful if you're trying to get all the prankster comets and uh I like to try to see if I can get the first few out of the way before I go to the rest of Space Junk Galaxy. So, the rest of the field is actually going to be Prankster Comets. And that's exactly the one I wanted. So, uh... Yeah, so I guess that's the last thing we'll do in this part. So, uh... Anyway, so we're going to do, uh... The Cosmic Comet. Now, this is what is called a Cosmic Luigi race, and, uh, believe it or not, facing Cosmic Luigi is actually harder than facing Cosmic Mario, and I'll explain this in a bit, but, uh, this is the, uh, Honey Hive Cosmic Luigi race. I will tell you a way you can actually win these races every single time, but, uh, the way you can get a head start, but, uh, Cosmic Luigi's faster, and he does more advanced strats than Cosmic Mario, so, uh, yeah, typically these races are harder, let's just say. I'm actually going to grab some star bits right here. 
We still get the nice M out of Starbucks. I don't think we get, we unfortunately don't get the one up. So, um, a little shit out of luck on that. So here's, here's kind of the way you, uh, you can kind of get ahead starting races. So, uh, you, during the countdown, Bowser gets the two and when he hits the Zoe, not fuck up like that, but, uh, when you, uh, you have to kind of, uh, you have to kind of, uh, what am I trying to say? I'm gonna fucking lose this, but, uh, you have to kind of wait till, uh, you have to kind of, oh, I'm definitely gonna fucking lose this. But anyway, you want to crouch on two and then get ahead start when it gets ghosts. Unfortunately, I timed it wrong, so I'm losing this race because of that. So yeah, I am losing the first Cosmic Luigi race. Wait, I might have a chance. No, no, we almost had that. I failed the first Cosmic Luigi race. All right, I am kind of ashamed on that. But to be fair, I have not played this game in a while, so uh, I definitely have not. I don't think I've played the Luigi portion since Super Mario 3D All Stars came out, so it's been a while, as to say. But uh, I want to say, as long as I can get that head start right, I should be able to win this. Do you want to forward? There we go, we timed it right. I, I, so yeah, you wanna crouch on two and uh, you wanna crouch on two and then when it gets to zero, uh when it get and when it gets to zero, we basically wanna uh what the hell am I trying to say? When it gets to zero, you wanna hit go. So yeah. Cosmic Luigi is going to try some more advanced strats right there. I, I swear to god, if I lose this the second time. So yeah, he's gonna go in the honey, so uh I'm really trying to concentrate here because I'm not doing this over again. Anyway, we got that star, so, uh... Yeah, that was a bit of a pain in the ass. That's the first Cosmic Luigi race. So, yeah, that was the first of the Cosmic Luigi races, and we discovered a new galaxy in the uh, fountain. Which we're actually, believe it or not, going to go back to the fountain, and, uh... I guess I'm gonna cut it off for this part of Super Luigi Galaxy, so, uh... Next time Super Luigi Galaxy, we're gonna finish the Space Junk Galaxy. See you guys then.